Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Topps Future Star Club. The release from Topps, it's actually a subscription box from Topps that comes every month. Typically the box looks like this, it's a little tiny box with a blaster box and a special set in there. This one is from, I believe, last month. It's been replaced this month with this. <laughs> I don't know what's in here. Um, it could possibly be a factory set. It could be... I don't know, multiple blaster boxes. Maybe they're getting rid of a whole bunch of 2021 Topps Update blaster boxes. I'm not sure, but when I saw this giant box on the shelf, I was like, all right, that's kind of cool. So let's take a look at what's inside now. Uh, the Topps Future Star Club, it is a $25 a month club. And I've got a couple memberships for me, Heather, and the kiddos. We're going to take a look at what we have in here. We usually open this up each month, and it's mostly to see what that special factory sealed set is. At least on my end. The blasters, we've usually seen them by now, whatever they are. I'm guessing this blaster is either going to be a 2022 Top Series 1, an opening day, or a Heritage Blaster, or possibly a WWE or soccer. And we have... Oh boy, we got multiple blasters in here. There's a Series 1 blaster. We have another... See, we have five. Look at all this. We have five blasters. And I am guessing that this is... Man, so much stuff in here. There's like an ice cream helmet. I'm guessing this is all of our accounts all in one... One big giant um, package here. Kind of cool. A massive package. Here's the special sets. So we've got some blaster boxes, which is great. Always need the blaster boxes. Love opening up 2022 Tops Series 1. Looking for Wander. We'll open up one of these in the video for you today. The other ones I will honestly send them off to Patreon members is this month. Everyone in the $51 tier is going to get a brand new 2022 Tops Series 1 blaster box and four additional packs i'm looking at probably doing the brand new opening day pack in there the brand new heritage hobby pack in there uh and then two other hobby packs in there as well uh, and then the 99 dollars tier which i'm working on right now gets two of these blaster boxes they get a fat pack and they also get six additional packs so let's take a look at what we have in this month we have these little ice cream helmets tops future star club um some people collect these i don't know what uh i don't know what I would do with these. I think when I was a kid, I used to put change in them. They were useful for that. They're not really useful for too much else unless you want to literally eat ice cream out of them like they do at the ballparks. So we got these. The kiddos will get these. And uh, we've got these special sets here as well. We'll take a look at who's in these sets. They're exclusive to the Future Star Club. You can only get them if you're a Future Star Club member. But we'll start with our blaster box. We'll, put up, we'll just do one of these and see if we can hit something in here that's decent. Again, the print-ons are pretty long on getting parallels, but you never know what you could find in a blaster box. The first time opening this up for a while. It's been a while since I've seen any of this on the shelves. I'm hoping that the next time they stock at Walmart, they start putting some Series 1 out. That would be nice. All right, so here we go. I haven't seen Series 1 since literally release week, like, what, three and a half weeks ago or so or whatever it's been. All right, so looking for Wander Franco. His card is still obviously the best one in the set. Let's see what we can find. There's Whit Merrifield. And how about it, folks? By the way, I would be remiss. I should have let off with this. We have baseball again. Baseball is back. Thank you to everyone on Patreon that sent me all those messages and posted on my community page letting me know that baseball has returned. The players and the owners have reached an agreement. We are going to play a full 162-game season. The season will be delayed until April 7th. So they will make up all the games that were missed from March 31st to April 7th. And uh, they'll do it by playing some doubleheaders throughout the season to make those games up. But that's awesome news. So... For all of you that had the jitters that you wouldn't be seeing this guy or this guy this year, you can relax. For five years, there will be peace, labor peace in baseball. And uh, I cannot wait to get out to a game at some point very soon. Last year, I only went to two games. This year, it's got to be more than that, I would imagine. So, so far, nothing too crazy in our blaster box. There's an 87 Kershaw. There's a Fernando Tatis Jr. as well. Also, we posted a video earlier. This pack feels really thick. That's probably the relic. 
Um, we posted a video earlier with the 2012 update box. We haven't sold all the spots yet. There's still some spots available left for Patreon. So I'm going to delay that case break until the next week or it's sold out. And we will commence with our auction tonight. So I hope you can join us for our auction. We'll probably do that from 8.30 on. There's Cedric Mullins. We got a rookie card coming up. I sure hope it's Wander. It is Wander Franco, Stars of MLB card. Very nice. We'll take that one for sure. Put that one on the board as the best card of the box. And we'll see what else we have coming up here. There's Josh Reddick diving, full out diving the home plate. Tyler Glass now is in there. I'm looking for big things from him this year. There's Lars Newtbar. That's a name that I'll just never be able to forget. Lars Newtbar. Love that name. Zach Wheeler's in there. Rodolfo Castro. Let's see if we can find the Wander Base card. We have a Chrome, Ronald Acuna Jr. right there. Stars of MLB. And there's Garrett Cole as the last one. So we've got two packs left. And then this is what's going to... This, this always interests me every month. It's a special exclusive five-card set. And there's usually a theme, such as players that were traded at the deadline. And you got the, their first look of them in their, their new uniforms on a baseball card. Or players that hit the longest home runs. Or I think last month was players that were born, or actually that played or starred in Canada. Kind of a, you know, there's always a little theme. And we'll see what it is this month. And we'll try to figure it out before we flip over the card and it just tells us what the theme is. So Miguel Sano, Shohei Otani. How many dingers is he going to hit this year? Is he going to follow it up with another MVP caliber season? Or is he going to uh, kind of struggle a little bit? The second half last year at the plate wasn't as good for Otani. Kind of slowed down a bit after the All-Star game. So we'll see what he's got in store for us in 2022. I'm really looking forward to seeing what his teammate Mike Trout can do. Trout is 100% healthy once again. We'll see if he can go after another MVP award. I'm really excited to see... Juan Soto this year and see what he does. I think Soto is going to, I think Soto might hit 350. I don't know. I just have a really good feeling about him. There's a Matt Olson blue that's not numbered. And there's Freddie Freeman, still a free agent. You're going to see a lot of free agents sign over the next week, maybe just a couple days. It's just going to be non stop action in the free agent market as now teams are free once again to wheel and deal. And uh, Freeman is one of 200 free agents. So there's other guys out there like Trevor Story and Carlos Correa along with them. And uh, I can't wait to see where everyone ends up. It's kind of tough to make predictions right now for the season until we see where all the pieces fall. But I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get around and make a, uh, a prediction video. There's Wander Franco with Vladdy. So no Wander in this. I think the odds of finding a Wander in any blaster box is about 1 in 4. We should have the manufactured patch coming up. And here it is. It's going to be a Bryce Harper as our jersey medallion card. We were looking for his rookie card today. Found found a, found his rookie card, but unfortunately not a gold card. 2012 is just absolutely loaded with gold cards. Is that The print run was really low on those. Three gold cards per pack, which was absolutely pretty crazy. And by the way, I noticed, by the way, that you guys let me know that I missed the autograph. How embarrassing is that? Uh, I do have a I do have a, a, an excuse for it in the preview video. Now we have Keith's cards here. Let me go back and see if I can find that before I get to it. I got a phone call right right about the time in pack number nine when the uh, autograph was coming up. Where is it? I, I guess I glossed right over it, and now I want to find it for Keith and Chuck because I still haven't seen it yet. I just remembered it when I was looking right here and, at these cards. Look at all these gold cards in here. Supposedly it was a a gold moments. Here it is. This has got this has got to be it. There it is. Salvi Perez. So there's the autograph. A little redo there. A little kind of bum corner on there. But a nice early Salvi Perez. And I guess I just saw this and just uh, just when I, when I was going through it, I just kind of probably went like that and didn't even notice. But some of you guys did. So hat tip to you guys in the comment section for catching that. Good job, Keith. Congratulations on that autograph. Don't know how the frick I missed that, but it happens sometimes. And. Um, we're good to go now. So now let's go ahead and check out our final thing of this video. It's going to be these. They're all going to be the same. They're all, the, the, they each contain five cards. I don't know if I've heard about autographs being randomly inserted in this before. I, I don't think that they are. It would be cool if they did do that, like one in every 20 boxes. And look at the design here. We've got Miguel Cabrera on the front. So I'm all right. We'll try to come up with the theme and see if we can figure it out. Let's look at this set and try to figure it out together. No cheating. Some of you may have already seen this open on someone else's baseball card channel before. I know there's other folks out there that get this 
uh, set. I actually received these, was it uh, yesterday, the day before? I've just been too busy to open them up until now. We got Miguel Cabrera, Albert Pujols. All right, so I'm thinking 500 home runs. We've got Yadi Molina. We've got Andrew McCutcheon. All right, McCutcheon makes it a little bit, uh, I have no idea now. Yadi McCutcheon, Votto. So they're all guys that played in the Central at one point. Uh, Pujols played in the National League Central for a while. McCutcheon with the Pirates. I have no idea. What's the theme between these five players? All great stars at one point or another. Um, out of these, I do believe that three are likely Hall of Famers. These two are surefire Hall of Famers. Yachty's a likely Hall of Famer. Joey Votto is a somewhat likely Hall of Famer. And Andrew McCutcheon is, uh, you know, he's great. But he might be just a little bit shy right now. Let's check out what the theme is. Each of these superstar players are aiming to reach a huge career milestone during the 2022 season. Baseball is full of statistics, and these five players have worked hard during their careers to be part of an exclusive group. Andrew just needs two stolen bases to have 200 in his career. Joey Votto just needs to play in 100 more games to have 2,000. Yachty just needs to collect two RBIs for 1,000 on his career. Our Pujols only needs 17 dingers to move into fourth place all time, and he's closing in on 700. And Miguel Cabrera is only 13 hits away from 3,000 and joining that exclusive 3,000 slash um, 500 home run club. So a pretty cool little set there. So that is the Future Star Club for the month of, I believe, March. I guess we're at March now, huh? So a really cool little thing. I, I don't know if they're still available. They come, I guess, they come on the market every now and then once um, – they have some spots that free up but i thought that some of you might enjoy seeing that and uh, i appreciate you guys tuning in day in and day out we'll have another video for you tomorrow it's going to be 2022 tops heritage new release preview video 1973 tops design i already saw the boxes and they look really retro and awesome and i can't wait to open those up so tune in for that tomorrow folks you can check us out on our auction here in a little bit i hope you guys have a great rest of your evening Check us out on Patreon if you'd like to participate in any of the auctions. It's $4.99 a month. There's a link in the description for that. In the auctions, if you'd like to get free cards during members-only time, you can join our YouTube channel membership also, $4.99. Link also in the description. So with that, I'm going to head on upstairs and prepare for this auction. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.